Ah, oh, crap. Canopy won't open. Maybe the teleporter? Here's hoping. Ah! Whew! Alright. I'm alive. I'm outside, and like a moron, I just left all of the survival supplies inside the locked ship. Oh well. At least it can't get much worse. Let's let's take a look around and see what we've got to. Oh crap! Well, guess whose insurance premiums are about to skyrocket? I'll give you a hint. This idiot. Robin, please route a call to GHCC Emergency Services. Command confirmed. Well, at least that works. Thank you for calling GHCC Emergency Services. My name is Sue. How may I assist you today? Hi, I just crash landed on an unfamiliar planet. Can you send someone to help me out? Certainly, ma'am. Can you tell me the galactic address of the planet, please? Uh, how do I do that? Oh, it's easy. Just set up a signal booster and it'll give you the address. I don't have one of those. No, but they come standard in all Starship emergency supply containers. Yeah, I don't have access to that. Well, no worries. You can just make one. It's not hard. It sounds hard. Well, in fact, it's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Well, okay then. So, you'll need to gather up some iron, some plant matter, and some sodium. Then manufacture iron plates and carbon nanotubes. Then slap it all together and boom! Signal booster! Ah, uh, um, well, there's a couple of problems with that. First off, I think you missed explaining a crucial step or two, like, how do I take raw plant matter and turn it into carbon nano-what's-its? Oh, well, that's easy, so you- And secondly, I don't see any of that stuff here. I'm sorry, what? There's nothing here. Just sand and water, no plants, no iron, not even any rocks. Besides the one I'm sitting on. Oh, well, that's a problem. Any other suggestions? Um... I'm afraid not. That's the only procedure we have. I guess whoever designed it never expected someone to end up stranded where none of those resources existed. That seems a little more than just a bit irresponsible. There's no need to be hostile, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. What with the horrible situation and the lack of help, I guess I forgot to be civil. Ma'am. Well, can't you just triangulate where this call is coming from? That's a thing, right? I've seen it in movies. If you were stranded in space, ma'am, then yes. Unfortunately, atmospheric interference keeps us from triangulating anything reliable. The best we can do is narrow it down to a ten mile radius. Well, do that then. Looking around, I'm pretty sure I'm on the only island within ten miles. I shouldn't be that hard to find. Very well, ma'am. I'll see what I can do. Luckily, you're stranded in a low conflict system, so you should hear from someone relatively quickly. Finally, some good news. So just sit tight, stay safe, and someone will call you back at this number as soon as they're within range, okay? Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you for calling GHCC Emergency Services and have an exploratory day. Okay, now we just wait. Alert, tidal shift in progress. Scans indicate that this island will be completely submerged within four hours. Well... Damn it.